Hello from Antigua and Barbuda. Woo! We are Davy and Sky, and in this video, we're going to be taking you along on our week long journey in the Caribbean. Cannot believe that we are here it right now. It's crazy. Oh this goodness. place is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Located in the heart of the Caribbean, about a thousand miles to the east of Jamaica, the tropical islands of Antigua and Barbuda are an absolute paradise to visit. Born out of the sea by a volcano 30 million years ago, this charming island is known today for its beautiful white sand beaches, turquoise waters, friendly locals, sailing, dreamy views, culinary delicacies, and of course, rum. We are obviously so excited to be here and we have a ton of things planned for this week-long stay. We're actually here with Antigua and Barbuda Tourism, Traverse Events, and 40 other creative people from all over the world with the ultimate goal of capturing and inspiring Antigua and Barbuda travel so that hopefully you find yourself visiting here someday too. And if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share it too. We arrived late last night. We are at the Hodges Bay Resort and Spa. It's a beautiful spot. So we had dinner here and just went to bed. We're going to show you where we were staying. Here's a room tour of Hodges Bay. When you come in, this is our bed. Beautiful sleep, we were out like a light. Beautiful big bathroom, lovely glass shower. And then the best part about this spot is that it is right on the water. So coming over here, we have a place to lounge in an entertainment area, but then this is our deck. These glass doors, of course, move over so that you don't have to have this open and it's air conditioned inside, but this is the outside. Absolutely fabulous. There's also a statue here and they call it the Spaceman. Not really sure why it's there, but it's awesome. Before we leave Hodges Bay, we are actually going to be taking their boat. It is free to take this boat at Hodges Bay and you go over to Prickly Pear Island. Located a very quick and beautiful five minute boat ride from Hodges Bay is the Prickly Pear Island where we are now. And it's gorgeous. The water is so clear, it's just turquoise blue all around. Like look, you can grab some snorkeling gear that they have here and go snorkel the reef. There's also a spot to sit out in the sun. You can grab a drink, grab a snack, grab some lunch. It's quite known in Antigua that an experience to have while here is to check out Pickly Pear Island. We have to catch a shuttle to our next destination, but first we're grabbing lunch to go, but we have a bit of time, so we're gonna eat it here in Tigo. We got more Mahi Mahi. About a half hour drive over to the west side of the island. This is gonna be our home base for the next week. We are at the Tamarind Hills. It is stunning. It is so beautiful. So this is our view. Because we're on the west coast of the island, actually we have the perfectly situated spot for sunsets and that was strategically made when or decided when they made Tamarind Hills and all of these beautiful oceanfront villas face the ocean and right out to where sunset is and they have their own like private beach area and it's absolutely fabulous so I'll give you a little tour of our own villa right now. This is her. <laughs> so you kind of come up there's like a staircase that brings you down to the main level and it's all up on this cool hill. We're actually gonna try to explore the hill maybe in the morning. Um, but this is our deck area. We have a little jacuzzi tub. This is our bed, beautiful four poster bed. The back wall actually peeks through to the bathroom except there is a private spot for the toilet. We have a whole kitchen area. I guess I don't know if we'll be getting groceries or anything but if we wanted to, do a little bed piss. I have a skirt on. It's like a cloud. <laughs> a desk spot. Lots of glass doors for natural light. We already kind of already unpacked our bags because we're going to be here for the rest of the week. And this is the bathroom. It's stunning. Shower over there. Come over here. I'm in an egg. <laughs> Why is this my favorite part <laughs> of this entire? Like, I just love the fact that the tub is shaped like an egg. Big beautiful shower, spot to do your makeup, little vanity area, two sinks, and a whole separate room so that, you know, your toilet is in there so you can keep that private. We are all cleaned up and we're just gonna head to dinner, which is right there, right by the water. Do you know what the restaurant's called? I don't know what the restaurant's called. Okay. Tamarind Hills Restaurant. Yes. We are the terrible people that left all the lights on, or maybe just left our curtains open. Right up and turn them off? Okay. Okay. It's called the wild cat. We're getting a little bit of something. A little bit of sunset. A little bit of something. I like these chairs. Nice. We think you should bring some bug spray on this trip. Because we did not. But it's not too bad. Like, it's not too bad. They don't itch. 
they're just kind of like popping up on small. our they're popping up on our skin like little chicken pox. <laughs> we just get we got little chicken pox instead of like bug bites. That's all. They're not itchy. We are going to be having dinner with a large group of people tonight, so we're not really sure what to expect, but the setting is absolutely gorgeous and we've heard really good things about this restaurant too, so we're excited to be here and to eat and to meet people. Parmesan egg plant. Some uh, seafood risotto. It smells amazing. He <laughs> was moving a little. Look at it. Good morning. We had a beautiful sunrise. We went just up the hill behind us here and caught the beautiful the sun coming over the mountains, it was really nice. Today we are heading to Stingray City. Today's excursion is swimming with stingrays. We are here at Stingray City and we're gonna be taking a boat ride for a quick 10 minute ride out to some very shallow waters, entering the water and swimming with hundreds of stingrays. We'll have the opportunity to touch them and take some photos and we're just really excited to see these stingrays out in the water and in the in the wild. And we've heard that they're, they don't bite, uh, but they might suck. So like, like, suck. <laughs> <laughs> this is so exciting. So we are in the shallow part right now. Because it's so shallow, it's absolutely like this beautiful light turquoise color. You can see the sun shining through. And those stingrays are massive. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's incredible. Look, 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 look. <laughs> they're so soft and like blubbery to the touch and their eyes are on top of their heads but their mouths are on the bottom so they have like these little suction mouths that um, you can feed them and they'll suck spit up through their mouth. It's just such a cool experience when you're standing there, one swims towards you and you think it's just going to be like a hard creature knocking into your legs but they're so soft and like they're little bodies just kind of wrap around your legs for a second. She's drowned. Is there a cavalier? It's really funny when you got this and you, and you like looked at the camera and you just like spill a bunch of it and you're like... <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I look like I've already had a few. Cheers. That was really fun. That was really cool. Swimming with stingers. The rum punches here. What an experience. Are strong. I said it I like the It's very rewarding and refreshing treat after being out in the water. Skylar only cares about the rum punch. Oh, sorry. The experience is lovely too. <laughs> They're so soft and blubbery. <laughs> we are at Smiling Harry's, which is a beautiful little eatery here in Half Moon Bay. There is a gorgeous beach down the road, which we have yet to explore yet. David did fly the drone. We're gonna be having some traditional Antiguan style lunch menu items. We're not exactly sure what we ordered, but we ordered a bunch of stuff. We're so gonna try goat for the first time. We're gonna try goat for the first time. We're gonna try some fish. We're gonna try a bunch of different things. And we're just like very, very happy to be here. Absolutely gorgeous. And the owner came out, Giselle, she came out to say hi to us. Then she said that the place, uh, Smiling Harry's, is actually named after her father who passed away. And it's kind of like a momentum and honorary thing to her father. So, which I don't know, those local stories it always hits very close to home. And hearing that, and it's just lovely. And there's also locals eating here too. For starters, we have a salt fish cake with sweet chili sauce, I believe it is, and an island vibes taco. It's absolutely fantastic. And we're pairing it, of course, with some rum punch. How dare you eat the food I've handed you? <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I passed this to Mark. 
So I ordered curried goat. I'm really curious what goat tastes like. It's not something I normally order, but it's something that's traditionally served here, so gotta try it. I actually really like goat, apparently, but Skylar's not so into it. It's okay. I had to try the Dukana salt fish and chop up meal. This looks absolutely amazing, it smells super good. Not actually sure what we are diving into here, but it's a local favorite of in Dukana for food, so had to try it. Okay. Let's see here. Oh my goodness. That is so good. They love their spices here, like the nutmeg and cinnamon infusions that have been in some of the dishes that we have tried so far have been absolutely incredible and it's definitely included in this dish here. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, um, we kind of spent a lot of day, a lot of our day at lunch, and now we're back and we kind of have a shower, and then we're gonna go eat again. It's like, let's go out to eat, and then let's get some more stuff to eat. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so many cows. Oh wow. Oh, you want this? Well, I'm walking in, so I go back oh, to lunch. Had a shower, and now we're here at Carlisle Bay, and yes. it's just like stunning. We're here for sunset. We're gonna eat here. We eat again. Just, yeah, it's like you are coming <laughs> to Antigua and Barbuda, expect to be in the sun, drink, and eat a lot. Like that's something that we can uh, resonate with home. Is that everyone back at home in Nova Scotia? They're always trying to feed us yeah. until we're <laughs> beyond full. Well, like, here is the exact let's go same. Eat, and then. Find something and else then five to minutes eat later, well. let's eat again. <laughs> awesome. Some fancy party attire here. We got some visors. We got some sunnies. Tyson is a buffet. There is so much to eat. I don't know what's going on here. We just had a really lovely evening at the Carlisle, and we'll see you in the morning for our next adventure. Good night. Just gonna go grab some breakfast before we head out for the day. This spot is amazing. Thank you so much. The next adventure that we are going on is a buggy tour through the jungles of Antigua. So we are here with Sweet Madadley Jungle Rides and we'll be taking this go-kart buggy to some great scenery. We have a whole tour planned. We're very excited to see what we get up to today. But we've driven ATVs before, we've driven four-wheelers before, but we've never driven go-karts in the wild. Wow, this is like a proper... Look at this thing. I feel like I'm in a, in a race car. A little bit. <laughs> I've never done something like this. If you trust your driver, I hope you, I hope you do. If you don't, you can swap him out. Just blink twice, he doesn't have to see. Just me and him here. Do you trust him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> we have guys on the right, brake on the left. The main difference is that you have to drive in both feet, okay? I forgot that we have to drive on the left, so now I gotta like reprogram my brain. If you look in the distance, you can see some big ass watermelons happening. <laughs> They're all covered in bushes, but that's how he grows them. Oh my gosh, that's so yeah. cool. But that is ready. I think this is ready. That's ready. Yeah. One this is Brian, and he actually owns this farmland yeah. here, so he's harvesting watermelons. Fuck it up. Shit. Oh. Oh. That's right. There you go. That's right. And you have water. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's try this watermelon. So juicy, so good. <laughs> we have taken the go karts up to this viewpoint and it is called Betty's Hope. So these windmills behind me used to grind sugar cane uh, back in the plantation um, and slavery days. And this would be Betty and that is Hope and the place is called Betty's Hope.
named after a slave master's daughter. This was the former distillery, and down here is where they used to store alcohol. Store all the alcohol. Yeah. That's very, very cool. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's much deeper than this. Imagine this full of alcohol. <gasps> wow. Like not so, in barrels, just like no, just, in there. just in there. This is the next stop we're making. We are here at Devil's Bridge National Park. It's a beautiful spot. We're gonna check out the, the bridge. Whoa. That was so cool. <laughs> I don't know how much longer this will last, but I'll check it out if you're in Indigo. We're just taking a little break at this gorgeous beach. We're gonna jump in and cool off. <laughs> Feel better? Yeah, much better. <laughs> Should take my glasses off. Yeah. That's my beach. Oh my god. Oh, it's a <laughs> Buggies through the jungle it was absolutely incredible. We went to a beach, we went to this beautiful look off. It was so much fun. By the end of it, we were hugging the staff like they were family because that's how it is here. You just, you feel like everybody's taking you as family. And now we're quite hungry, so we stopped at a local spot. It's called Sweet Teas. And they're saying, I thought they were saying sweeties, but it's like sweet teas. Everybody is local here, it's amazing. We really need bug spray, so we're gonna go to the market. It must just be the type of skin I have or like the, uh, uh, how my body reacts to the bug bites, but my legs have been lit up. Successfully got some bug spray, it was only six bucks. Six bucks. Six bucks. It says 14, well, says. but that's like Antiguan uh, oh, yeah. currency. Caribbean dollars. Caribbean dollars, is that it? We got some... Uh, uh, that's what my legs are looking like right now. Oh I really like the knees. What's your reaction? It's good? It's good? <laughs> it's got peas in it. Oh. I've never had peas in a wrap before. I love it. Not either. Yeah, it's because it's a skin. Guys, take care. Have fun. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Are you taking a picture? Yeah, it's a video. Do you mind? Oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah. It'll be on our YouTube. <laughs> Perfect. I look forward to it. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Um, we were walking up to Shirley Heights from English Harbor and we just found two fellow Canadians that pulled over and were like, would you like to drive? John and Rochelle, thank you so much, from Ottawa and from New Brunswick. <laughs> I just can't believe that. When we got in, we were like, where are you guys from? And they were like, Canada. We were like, of course you are. Of <laughs> course. My heart is full. Now we're at Shirley Heights. We were supposed to be here on um, Sunday evening for sunset and they have a, normally have like every Sunday there's like a barbecue and like live music and everything but and we like missed it. a drum band yeah. and like a, it's a whole thing apparently Sundays and then sometimes Thursdays too so we were bummed that we bummed missed that we only missed it because of a delayed flight or a cancelled flight but like we're yeah. here now so it's we our redemption trip. We were trip. determined to get up here and yeah it's just been an amazing journey to get so here. Happy. At Shirley Heights there are other hiking trails too, so we have some time to kill now before sunset because of our lovely Canadian drivers. And we're going to check out some of these other trails. They lead down the mountain, so we'll be hiking down, checking out a few viewpoints, and then hiking back up to Shirley Heights before sunset. Dude, there's some cactuses there. I, there's so many cactuses, it's so cool. Cacti? Cacti. Oh, yeah. Let's go, we gotta get move on. Me and my skirt. Oh. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on. We got some uh, Newfoundland vibes here. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Um, I do not recommend hiking this trail in a skirt 
because you will get hooked on every single cactus you walk by. <laughs> it's definitely a shorts or pants ordeal, but you know. But the views are amazing. The views are incredible. There's so many cactuses here. So Look cool. at these weird cactuses. These weird cacti. Pretty tough hike back up that hill. Now we're gonna do sunset at Shirley Heights. Kinda got just a little bit um, distracted there and started doing a bunch of photos on those cliffs. Stunning spot. I am a sweaty puddle. You made it. You made it up the mountain. David's full of bug bites and I'm just like scorched from the sun. I put on four coats of sunblock. I think this is a perfect way to end the night. This has been a beautiful day. We've had a busy day. It's been <laughs> an incredible day. Oh my gosh. There's just so much natural beauty here that I feel even the average tourist only gets to see a fraction of. And we're feeling very fortunate that we're getting to see and do so many different tours and meet so many different people. And it's just been, it's been incredible yeah. so far. Shirley Heights, check it out. You have to come to this view. The journey continues. Um, it's now dark and we don't really have a way out of here. <laughs> so we're gonna try to hike. Some of these views are better than the main viewpoint. Yeah. All right, update. We uh, tried to bushwhack down the mountain, but it wasn't happening, so I decided to turn back. And now we're back at the top, we're walking the road down. This has turned into our kind of travel night. <laughs> It's pitch black, there's no street lights, so just relying on those phone flashlights right now. There's some folks texting us, asking if they want us to join for dinner, and we're like, yep, we'll be there. In but, 20 but, minutes. 20 minutes? That's uh, not too bad. It's 27. I thought it was like an hour. 27 minutes, but for us, 20. Oh, yeah, no problem. Love you. Love you. I love you too. <laughs> what? Are you looking at my phone part? <laughs> I don't know. It was blinding me. The light. I was like, like a deer caught in headlights. Oh, okay. We made it. We made it. <laughs> morning! It is of course another beautiful day here in Antigua. The sun is shining, it is hot, some blue skies, turquoise waters, and today's agenda is a very exciting one. We are back in English Harbour, we are at Galleon Bay right now, and we're going to be going out into the bay to go scooter snorkeling. I keep saying scuba snorkeling, but it's scooter snorkeling. And the way that we're going to do this is with like little handheld uh, sea scooter sea do things that we go underneath the water with with our snorkel gear and everything on. We're hoping that we see some like nice coral and maybe some wildlife under the water too, but today we are sea creatures. So we got some baby shampoo in here to stop it from fogging up. Or you could also just spit in it. Maybe shampoo seems more. A little old school <laughs> trick there. <laughs> I fully with my <laughs> here we go. First attempt, here we go. Or right at last, you either one. The water propels you back with the of Hercules. We were just at Carpenter Rock last night and down the coast from that. Uh, the Pillars of Hercules is right outside of English Harbor. And you scooter sparkled here. <laughs> How goofy do I look? <laughs> Pretty goofy. Cheers. Cheers. That was an absolute blast. It was probably just like a whole load of beer all that we're going to show you, but <laughs> this is so much different kinds of fish and like 
turtles. So I've seen, a, I've seen at least like four turtles. Stingrays. I've seen two, three? Three turtles? I think one of them might have been the same turtle though. i seen one so. by, like, I was like, I came up and nobody was around. I'm like, turtle! <laughs> And then what an I look over and you're under a boat. Yeah, yeah, I got I got lost. So I was under a boat. That was, <laughs> it was so, much, so much, so much fun. I just want one of those. Yeah, now. we want yeah. to now look at. By the end it. of it, I was like doing tricks and like spinning around. And the guides were so good in like scouting out different animals. And part of the package, actually, part of this tour, is the fact that they take photos too. Yeah. So I'm hoping you should insert some photos into yeah, this video as well. Yeah, that was a blast. <laughs> that was All so right. much fun. Time for lunch. Time for lunch. Lunch today. Today we are enjoying at the historic Nelson's Dockyard. We are so happy that we actually got an opportunity to see this beautiful place. And the restaurant that we are in is the Copper and Lumber Historic Property. So it's actually an inn, but it has a restaurant, uh, the Main Brace restaurant down below, and that's where we're having lunch. It's so beautiful here. There is so much history and old stonework and large wooden beams and some cold beer and yummy food waiting for us inside. Nice setup. This is gorgeous. I'm excited to have lunch. <laughs> You're very excited for lunch. I think it's a big swap, like there's a bunch of them, so. The other way is like chocolate. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it, yeah. We just had a blast of a day. We have swam, we have scooter snorkeled, we have eight, and now tonight's activity is Tropical Adventures, we are going on this boat with a large group of people. So sailing and accessing boats in Antigua is super common. You can come here as a solo traveler, as a couple, or with a large group like us or a family and rent out an entire boat, which is incredible. So this is like a catamaran style. I think it's gonna be sunset, drinks, out on the water. Sitting here the whole time. This is great. This is lovely. How's your net experience? I'm loving the net. Loving the net. We're gonna fall net. through. I know. I'm a little like. <laughs> like I see the net being tied up a little bit. Okay. And I feel like someone did go through at one point. Or like at least a limb, you know? Like yeah, a limb. <laughs> Today we are going on a food tour. It's actually restaurant week here in Antigua and Barbuda, which is an island-wide celebration with a bunch of different participating restaurants. It's a way for folks to come together, to be together, eat, you will not go hungry when visiting here, to experience local culture, local food, and to support local too. We actually have this passport, so today's tour, we're gonna to be going to a few of the different restaurants, I believe, and we'll be stamping the passport while we go along at the participating restaurants. So if you're staying here for a little while, you can also enter to win prizes too with restaurant week. It's kind of like back home we have a burger week where there are a bunch of different restaurants with special menu items at a discounted rate. Here they have restaurant week, not burger week, restaurant week. It celebrates all food. It's amazing. Can't wait. I'm very hungry. This is our first stop. It's the captain's table. We're gonna be eating some local flavors. They have live music playing and there's gonna be a rum tasting too. It's like it's noon. It's noon in Antigua. I'm surprised we're not already on the rum. <laughs> Seafood rice, fried swai, which is a fish, um, a salt fish as well, and a green salad. We did the five-year-old, and now we're doing the ten-year-old. Wow. Oh, that's so different. So he was saying that a lot of people that love to drink whiskey are now kind of going into the rum hemisphere of everything. And I can see why. This is very delicious. I would love this. On, especially with some ice. That's Brent, and his family owns this place. And he just gave us some tamarind fruit juice. It's non alcoholic. And very refreshing. That's unique. That's really unique. That's delicious. Thank you so much. 
much. We've been getting the sense that everybody's just like food is family and they feed you here and they treat you like family and it's just lovely. Okay, how do I do it? food tour is One Stone Eitel Shack and this is a Rastafarian restaurant option so basically they have um, no additives, no salt, as close to nature as possible. They have no sugar options too so just super healthy and it's very popular. Let's go check it out. Peace bell cheers! Oh that's really like yummy. It's like quite bready. It's not spicy which I'm very happy about. Some onions in there. I think. So that's Sean over there. He's actually the owner. And because he owns one stone, they actually just call him one stone. He uses clay pots to cook everything a very natural way that infuses all the flavors. Um, what else? We also got juice. So we got the raspberry and ginger juice, but they had Soko, Tamarind, the place we're saying. What other drinks do they have? Ginger, raspberry. Raspberry? There were so many to choose from. We got a jet. Nice to meet you. It's very nice meeting you. We're from Canada and this is our first time here. We're Having the best time. We are currently at the bakery. It is our third stop of the food tour, and they have BJ's Bakery. So we've gotten a little pastry box. And I mean, you know, David and I will know that we absolutely love baked goods because my family has a small bakery, and just growing up with baked goods is getting to try it in new places is always a treat. So we have bun butter cheese here with some um, Antiguan cheese inside, and it's all melty. I've already began eating it because it was so good. It tastes similar to to a hot cross bun. There's some spices in there and then it's just like smooth buttery cheese on the inside. We have bread pudding which is not like the North American bread pudding. It's something totally different but I've not tried it yet. And a coconut tart as well. I just love how everybody else is also doing the same thing that we're doing. So there's someone behind us is vlogging and then we have someone over here and there's a whole group of us doing, doing vlogs. Before we head into our next stop, we had to dip away from the group that we're with a little bit because we just got gifted from VJ's some cakes to try. It's pretty special to bond about bakery things in a new country and it was funny like talking about the cheesecake and how much graham crumbs are so expensive. So their cheesecake is lighter, it's not your heavier New York style cheesecake. Um, fluffier she said and the bottom of it is made with bread and spices. Let's try it here. That is heaven. That is heavenly. Oh my goodness. And this is their chocolate cake. So she said it's quite light as well, made with oil instead of butter. But they do make an amazing buttercream in house. Everything is made from scratch in house. That's also heaven. It's not too rich. So she said that a lot of people that love chocolate cake but find most chocolate cakes to be too heavy go to their bakery because their cakes are so easily enjoyed by any type of sweetie person. Fourth stop of our food tour is this quaint little roadside restaurant. It is called Alma's and if you look online, all of the reviews say that this is the spot to get authentic Antiguan food. And Alma herself is in there. They have opened, welcomed us with open arms and we're excited to uh, try some pepper pot and some chicken with rice and I'm already full though. <laughs> this is actually Antigua and Bermuda's national dish. It is funji and pepper pot. So it's kind of like a little cornmeal dough ball right there served in a stew. Oh, that's delicious. What does it taste like? Oh, you can ask me that. I'm gonna <laughs> steal some of your funji. Mmm. It's very comforting. <laughs> this is Wendy. Alma was her grandmother and this is her spot and we yes. just had the most fabulous lunch. Good. What did you have? I had the chicken and rice um, and he got the, uh, the pepper pot. Pepper pot. And we, did you manage to have some pepper pots? I did. It was As really a couple, good. Good. we got to share it and try a good. little bit of both. Good. So. And you enjoy. Yes. 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 Thank nice you to meet so you. Much. Enjoy Antigua. Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you yes. too. All right. Thank you. We are literally rolling into our last stop of this food tour. We have eaten so much amazing food today. And at this last stop, we are at the Sir Vivian Richards uh, Stadium. So this stadium was built back in 2007 and it was made for the World Cricket Cup. And I asked about what is played here still. And it's all cricket. We've never played cricket. Oh, there's an echo. 
<laughs> so it's also home to boundary bites and we're gonna be trying some salt fish some more fungi as well as some ice cream too so I think that'll be like a little dessert on top of the day it's been incredible like the food has been awesome but I think these types of tours you really get to meet the folks behind the food and you get to have those conversations and that's always what shines through so it's just been a really really great last day here in Antigua and uh, I'm just so full I have to go climb back down from the stadium now on motor breath I think this is our final stop <laughs> I think so. I'm pretty sure. But they just keep feeding here. us, so it's amazing. Yeah. Look at these little like purses, box, or bag juices yeah, that we got. They're called rummies, and this one is a pineapple juice with rum. This yeah, one's passion, passion fruit. fruit. So there's rum inside of it, and they're in these little bags, and they give you a straw. So you just go around with your little bag, yeah. your little rum in a bag. But also, rummies. the locals like to put gummies yeah. inside the bags to so make it taste better. So they have a plate of gummies for us to so add as well. Try that. <laughs> and then next door, right next to that table is an ice cream set up and her name is Althea Davies. She's absolutely lovely and she hand makes these ice creams from her home. So we have some mango and coconut ice cream. This, it's already melting. It's so hot out today. This is going to be so refreshing. Mmm. Coconut. Very vanilla-y. What? This the the scoopfuls that you're taking. I'm sharing. You eat ice cream so fast. I know, you're like a It's so good. That was such a great day. This food tour was absolutely the best thing. This is Tiffany, owner operator of Eaton Line. Can you tell us more about your company? Like where do people can find you and yes. So Eats and Lime Food Tours, we are the only food tour company on island and you can hop over to TripAdvisor, search us up and you'll see all great reviews and you can also visit our website eatandlimefoodtours.com where you'll have a chance to create your bookends and come join me on a food tour. Amazing. How, have you ever had like celebrities or like, you, I heard you name dropping earlier. <laughs> Who did you yes, have? Yes I did. Yeah. So about two weeks ago I had Shasta Mali on tour, that's Bob Mali's granddaughter and we had a really good time on that tour. Amazing. <laughs> Definitely recommend checking out a food tour while you're here. Last day we went back to the Prickly Pear Island and had a little get a, like a going away party, a little celebration. You can rent that whole island. So something we didn't mention was the Canadian couple that were our saving graces the other day and picked us up and took us to Shirley Heights. He said that his mom actually got married there. So like you can book it up for a whole wedding. Apparently it's like whole party central and they had performers come over for us and musicians. I know, we, we like tried to talk to the camera oh and, then, and then this happened. <laughs> But yeah, so like there was food, there was uh, just drinks were flowing, it was absolutely lovely sunset. It was just a really great way to kind of cap off an incredible week. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that we have inspired you to visit Antigua and Barbuda. We did a lot in one week, we but did. we are leaving <laughs> with an entire list of things that we want to come back for, especially getting to Barbuda. There were some of the tours from other people that we heard about that we were like, oh my goodness, we would have loved to do that. So it's just a spot that you can kind of adventure and see time and time again. And uh, hopefully we find ourselves here again and hopefully you find yourself here too. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, so good. Steak, Perfect hand pour. <laughs> I got one stacking my face. Like I swam right beside me. It went poof. Might be on a party bus right now. Will it be? Will it be? Will it be? Will it be? Will Will it be? Will it be? Will it be? Will it be? Shirley Heights is up the hill, and we're hiking down here like, like sunset isn't happening. She's stressing me out, man. It's stressing me out. I just need some rum punch. Oh, this is getting silly. We're in the middle of nowhere. Running down the mountain. Bushwhacking. Bushwhacking. Running down the mountain.
<laughs> the star's coming out. <sighs> Gotta get to dinner. Hopefully we can pack a taxi Only on the way. 43 minutes to get there. They have a taxi. I'm gonna pick up the pace. I'm the type of person though that'll like read a menu. I'll read a menu and the dude's like, what is it? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> This means there might be a rainbow! Here we go again. Here we go now. Here we go. We'll share the same room on the This I think my sweat is sweating. <laughs>